GTA presents. What's up, YouTube? Touch the map was here with a quick review for yesterday on the iFrogs Volt Series USB car charger and the iFrogs Lux for the Apple Touch 2G, both in jet black and in royal blue. Thanks again, iFrog, for sending this out for review. Don't forget to check them out. Link will be in the description box. So that's pretty much it. Now to the review. All right, let's get started with the review of the iFrogs Lux original for the Apple Touch 2G, both in jet black and royal blue but there's also other colors on the iFrogs website be sure to check it out link will be in the description box the other colors are grape red ruby neon green and magenta okay so the new iFrogs packaging is this one which is really kind of eco-friendly so you just open this up take it out of the package and everything and and take that case out of course and the case includes one screen shield and a fake iPod the screen shield is actually a pretty high quality screen shield I actually like iFrogs is screen shield, so we'll actually take a look at the case before we actually put it in the, the iPod. So here inside the case, it is a slider, slider style case, so it's a two-piece case. But here inside the case before you put it in the iPod is right there in the bottom half, it says Touch 2G. So you actually know this is for the Apple Touch 2G in the felt material thing they put here to, to avoid scratches on your iPod. And actually has some shock protection to it when you actually drop your iPod. And nothing here to actually scratch your iPod, really sleek design. So outside is this really gummy feeling of the case. Like it's you can't really scratch it, but when you you can actually leave like grease marks on it and when you really get it dirty and everything, it's actually really easy to clean. So let's actually take it out. You just click this little button feature over here. Click and then pull. So let's actually put the case first. I I recommend to put the top part first and then turn it over put and the bottom part you actually squeeze the sides of it and you actually squeeze these two sides right here and push down here so this thing will come up over here and the these two like edges will go under the <clears throat> bottom part let's do that right there and voila it fits so right here the top the sleep and wake button are fully accessible with extra space so you can actually access it fast like that and to the side is the volume rockers you have space right there so I can actually go like that 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 Let's see da, 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 da. so I can do that and the home button fully accessible there's nothing really blocking the front and down here the USB port is accessible. I do have some problems with the headphone jack because some of the iFrog's headphone jack doesn't fit at all with the case. As you guys can see right here, this is the iFrog's DJ style. And it doesn't go all the way because this case is actually blocking it like because of the big bass like I call it in the last videos. So that's just one flaw of the case. And sometimes when you don't put, put the screen shield perfectly it sometimes bubbles as you guys can see right there let me see if I can find a better spot let me see if I can take it out but you can just push down the screen shield and actually fits again or the bubble disappears so let me show you guys what it looks like with the royal blue on I actually prefer the all black but if you like some color in with your iPod go get the grape neon green red ruby magenta or the royal blue like I have it right here and actually looks nice and the blue and black here really adds some design to your iPod and it is fully dockable I'll show you guys in a minute alright as you guys can see right here I have my dream machine over here the Sony alarm clock thing and it has a iPod dock but be sure you don't have any iPod dock extenders or stuff like that just the plain old dock and it actually fits well it's charging okay alright that's pretty much it for the iPod iFrogs Lux for the Apple Touch 2G and 3G. So if you don't like the black or the blue, be sure to check out all the colors in the iFrogs website. And I rate this product about a 9.5 out of 10 because of the bubble of screen shields and the headphone jack problem. And it's about it'll cost you about $29.99 in the iFrogs website. So let's move on to the iFrogs Volt Series USB car charger. Alright, now to the review of the iFrog's USB car charger, so you guys can see right here, in the royal blue Lux finish. There's also other colors available in the iFrog's website, the same colors as the 
iFrogs Lux comes in. So be sure to check out iFrogs. Link will be in the description box. You just plug it in in the in the lighter plug over here. Let me see if I can actually zoom in. Uh, right there. And right when you plug it in, so you guys see a little USB uh, LED light right there, and right next to the USB. When you plug it in, boom, laser. <laughs> but that could be a little distracting to some drivers, like what you're driving, the little blue thing is just like flashing right at you. So that's just one flaw when you are driving, so that's but some people do like it. But one good thing that they should have added was a little switch down here to the side. You can like you can actually enable if you want it to be turned on or off like that but for the review I'm probably just gonna cover this because of that beaming light just to the camera so if you do have an let me take it out if you do have an iFrogs Lux for your iPhone or iPod touch as you guys can see right here it actually matches it so if you actually get a USB car charger that matches your iFrogs Lux you'll be like the coolest kid in the block or something like that you know so let's plug it in again and I'll show you guys let's see if I can grab my Apple charger let's see if I can cover that right there covering it okay so you can actually get your apple cord thing or apple usb and just plug it in like that like a normal usb and that, and that you can actually charge any usb as long as you have the usb cord and just plug it in through there and the see and just plug it in like that and it's charging it's charging you guys can see it there so i'll show you guys that it actually works on different usb devices and let me see if I can grab my phone. And I'm just gonna grab, just plug in the USB part, and it goes to the mini USB, and just plug it in. Voila! It's charging. As you guys can see right there. Let's see if I can put that in auto focus. Ta da! It's charging. That thing is moving. Okay, so that's pretty much it about this USB car charger from iFrogs. Really nice color. Adds tons of flair if you're gonna have it or something. And it's about twelve dollars and ninety nine cents or if I have it wrong I'll have an annotation or a text thing will pop up somewhere and hope you guys enjoyed the review on the iFrogs Lux for the Apple Touch 2G and the Lux finish for the USB car charger so don't forget to rate comment and subscribe over there be sure to favorite for shooting this in the car but that's pretty much it hope you guys enjoyed again Peace. The iFrogs Volt Series USB car charger. Car charger. Plug it in in this cigarette thing. The thing. What's that called? Faggot. I'll be back.